Hello and welcome. Uh, I wanna uh, start this series by a video to tell you or to share with you my information about free software, about the philosophy, about how how these things work together, and why we need free software or why uh, it's a free uh, in the first place. Now, freedom software or free software means software that respect user freedom users freedom uh, and community now it's not we are not talking about the price it's a free that you can control you can run you can copy this distribute the, co the software you can see the code you can study it you can change it modify do anything you want with the software uh, What's uh, the uh, the purpose of that is that you can learn more, you can develop, you can make investment in this software. What's different from the proprietary software is that you you can use it, but you can't do anything with it. And even this use. It's not like okay, you will get the original copy. What's different from the original copy? Uh, original copy from the uh, copy from the original copy or make copy from the original copy what's the difference nothing but really you don't buy for the system or for the software it's just like you will after after you buy the software if it's proprietary uh, it's locked so you can see anything inside that you get the binary of the source code of the system or the software what you buy for is just like let me use it and what if uh, another version of the software you should buy this or you have like support contract uh, after you buy this thing for like one year or two now free as in freedom uh, when I when I sit or when I talk with the administrator and IT people they start talking in the same area they are speaking in the same area they are thinking in the same way because this is what they learn in university they learn how to secure the code how to hide the source code of the software how uh, to uh, to make limit or to make usage how to support con to make support contract or these things <laughs> now drop everything you know about that and move that to the so uh, to the free software world uh, because you are program programmed to think like this you are not supposed to think like that because you must share with your community the source code your programs everything so no serial number no antivirus no update contract or no updates uh, uh, in the first place like uh, it's not like no updates uh, no contract but you can get contracts with the co free software uh, companies that you you have experts they have experts uh, they have uh, and even the people who wrote these programs uh, you can contact co make a connection uh, or you can contact them directly or by uh, indirect way and get support from them so uh, you make uh, like you support them to make a better uh, software uh, you can learn more you can get more of the system of the software as much as you want as much as you need uh, Don't uh, okay. You can be just a normal user. You can just use the system. You have a variety of systems in uh, Ignu slash Linux uh, and uh, Free BSD you have a free uh, BSD and open BSD and uh, uh, like so uh, you have in the Linux, GNU slash Linux, you have uh, uh, which is RPM based systems and uh, 
Debian based system and the uh, leading Debian based system as the Debian project and uh, RPM you have uh, like Red Hat and you have uh, also a Backman system uh, which is the Arch Linux is the leading for that uh, major uh, path now free software foundation free software it's non-profit it's worldwide uh, it has a, a specific mission to uh, promote computer user freedom and defend the right for all free software users free software foundation is the vision or it's a prophecy of uh, Richard Stallman was established in the 1985 uh, and uh, Richard Solman is the man uh, is our hero as uh, uh, as uh, free software people or freedom software people uh, why free software is so important is this uh, this you can wrote books about why free software is important but uh, let's say uh, let's talk about uh, uh, how he uh, decide or how he insist to make free software now he start with the GNU project in uh, 1983 really uh, and GNU project is the project that he uh, should support and maintain and produce the GNU system now uh, they uh, they almost finished the GNU system. Then uh, Mr. Lino Torvalds, he has uh, unfinished uh, 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 core of uh, of assist of the system, which is uh, uh, Linux, Linux, uh, uh, Linux. The core of the project, let's say. Now. Uh, he decided to join Richard Solman with his vision, uh, vision about uh, free software and uh, they provide the first and most awesome system to the world which is the GNU slash Linux system now Richard Solman he, uh, ha, uh, he uh, really uh, fight for the IT people or the for the uh, freedom of uh, the humanity in the IT world uh, so he uh, in, the, in that days in the uh, first 80s he uh, saw how the companies uh, get richer and richer uh, and uh, not that this is the most important thing is that uh, the employee or the IT people they are uh, stay in the same path so after 10 years he will get like thousand five hundred dollar uh, after maybe five years he will get two thousand or two thousand three thousand four thousand uh, so he will not reach like ten thousand in near uh, time but uh, all the money goes to the company and the uh, company uh, also like uh, start to uh, make uh, spying on users to uh, they say we know we need to improve the performance of our system of our software by getting information about how you use the program how you uh, make uh, make use of these things and uh, whatever uh, and uh, so forth now uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Professor uh, Richard Stallman he climbed that mountain and see what will happen after 30 years and he, what, what what he say uh, so is uh, like uh, we are going to a disaster in the IT world because uh, the company start hiding the source of the code so nobody can study or uh, or develop these uh, softwares uh, just you learn how to use them now uh, he just returned to us and uh, he start to uh, he decide to make the uh, GNU project uh, and uh, he decide to 
move the world for better uh, IT products. Now, uh, um, uh, really, Richard Stoneman, after he decided to make this revolution, uh, he encountered a lot of uh, obstacles and uh, revolution against uh, against his revolution by the governments, by the media. Uh, they start uh, talking about uh, now first first move they. Uh, after Mr. Uh, Lino Storvald uh, joined uh, Mr. Uh, Richard Solman, uh, they start talking about uh, Linux. Linux, 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 uh, as uh, GNU does not exist because uh, uh, you, they want to hide uh, uh, the information and the, uh, uh, they want to hide what the meaning of free software this is the first thing the second thing they start talking about the hackers as the crime uh, that they change the source they change the they, they distribute the software by the way they hack it to make it better for us then they uh, change and they make a false impression about what hacking is so it's like you are a hacker you are a criminal you are uh, uh, you are outflow. You are not good person, and so uh, so forth. Now, uh, and last thing, they make a movement in uh, in a creepy way, uh, just like open source. So they say, well, you you are suspicious of what uh, is uh, what if our software is uh, spying on you. So we will make open source, but you are not supposed to redistribute, to share, and to study the. Uh, you can study the code, but you can share. You can control the code because uh, some of them make open source and they provide software as a service. So you can't control what. Uh, what if they change the source of the program and uh, uh, they. Uh, cha uh, they change the copy of the program that runs on the cloud or on the uh, as a service uh, and uh, but uh, free software uh, uh, as a community or freedom software as a community uh, they stand together and uh, move forward uh, so uh, we wish uh, luck for them and uh, we will provide some support for them. Now the GNU project is the operating system is completely free. Uh, we have uh, GNU slash Linux programs, uh, operating systems, but it's not like fully free. Uh, they have like, uh, sometimes we need the drivers, but uh, vendors lock the codes of their uh, drivers so you need to make reverse engineering but sometimes it's not working so we have like proprietary drivers to run uh, graphics uh, proprietary drivers to run some flash media and uh, some uh, other things now GNU uh, not Unix which is GNU stands for now Richard Stallman uh, announced the GNU project in 1983 uh, now, uh, the GNU project uh, who developed the uh, GNU uh, C compiler, so GNU C compiler uh, really uh, is uh, the most or the golden code and the most important piece of equipment you, uh, you need to make any program or you know, it's just like, uh, you know, uh, the search engines so you have your search engines and you make a uh, search for something and you make a uh, lot of uh, searching about that now uh, all that search you will not say well thank you google thank you yahoo thank you or duckduckgo and others because uh, you say well i get this from that web uh, web site and this uh, info from that uh, white uh, sheet and uh, uh, and like this uh, but we use them 
uh, but nobody uh, say anything about them and uh, the same with uh, the these tools which is uh, GNU uh, if we don't have compilers we should uh, we should uh, write our programs in low level language in the binary languages so he start the first thing with uh, the uh, Emacs so uh, really Richard Stallman uh, do two things which is the Emacs editor which is uh, really it's like uh, you can do everything from inside Emacs and the second thing which is the uh, the first thing is the Emacs editor and the most important thing which uh, he really took uh, years to uh, make it uh, with this uh, efficiency and this uh, reliability which is the GNU C compiler which is uh, convert the code so you say well this is so amazing uh, program look at the features look at how it's working uh, so uh, flexible it's uh, the, the, it does not demand any uh, uh, not so much uh, RAMs or uh, CPU processing but you will not say this program well it's compiled with the, with that uh, compiler or that because nobody has worked silently now uh, a GNU system uh, it's uh, the result of the GNU project uh, and uh, the result of our hero uh, Richard Stallman and uh, how Freedom uh, Word works now we we talk about how we know all of us how proprietary world works so if you have like uh, all the piece of software what you will do is you will buy another uh, version of this software to get some features now uh, what if we have vulnerability and we don't have uh, support uh, contra we don't have support like okay we have uh, now some system has uh, antivirus which is uh, what is the antivirus it's a hole uh, or it's something wrong with a with the operating system or security issue with the operating system that makes hole with the operating system that needs antivirus antivirus and the virus is another program like any other program in this world now you should buy for that uh, operating system you should buy for that software you should uh, buy uh, books to to the same company uh, to get educated and you you should buy uh, you should uh, get some uh, uh, like courses uh, from uh, center of that company which is uh, uh, almost scattered all, uh, all over the world and uh, after all that uh, you should uh, if, uh, yeah, if uh, there is uh, something wrong with uh, that version of uh, software you should buy another version and so forth now this is the ch how it's changed now you get educated okay you have thousands of wiki so, uh, wiki po uh, wiki uh, sites uh, for every project and you have uh, documentation for every project and you have a lot of people you know even the people who wrote that program uh, if you contact them they will maybe sometimes they they are uh, really a uh, good community as a freedom uh, software community because maybe you will ask him will i have some uh, problem one two three you will say okay you have this uh, you should do this or, or that okay. or, or maybe he will give you uh, like some of his time and he will fix everything for you without buying or, and or with the small chunk of money you will uh, you will do everything and uh, uh, <coughs> now uh, uh, the company now uh, 
all that uh, if you uh, ask for support from humans in the from people in the free software community uh, you can uh, uh, excuse me now rather than you buy a box from the company who wrote the software and you will get the hardware from uh, that company if it's like hardware and software company and you will buy for support because they will tell you that we have support and they are the uh, they make the program so they have everything they know everything about this software uh, and uh, because it's a closed source uh, program you don't know how it's behave and then the support is an essential essential part of uh, the uh, of the proprietary world uh, so this company will get m more money and more and more so they will get like billions of dollars while in the free software you uh, you will change this behavior entirely because you will contact the people who make this software now your company also will uh, buy the systems and uh, you will uh, get the support contract and security contract and and more and more and they, they need uh, software and they need to buy a lot of things uh, now what's changed is rather than buying systems uh, get systems and make a donation I don't know yeah I I, I wish if they they have uh, like uh, okay you can use our system but you we will get like one percent of the uh, profit or uh, of your of your profit uh, okay it's one percent maybe uh, let's say you will have profit like uh, hundred or thousand so we have like one person it's like ten dollars but if you compare it to uh, everybody who use this program will get will buy just a uh, small chunk of money uh, so we support these systems to uh, be more efficient and support this software uh, to be developed entirely at time I don't know uh, I think uh, we can make some like uh, supporting system for the money and uh, something like that rather than find some uh, centers for company XYZ uh, go to the people who made the project and let them uh, provide uh, provide you support provide you uh, uh, like courses and uh, other things and uh, provide you with a box because they uh, know how uh, what's the best for this uh, piece of uh, software rather than buy a new version of software you can get it then you can have uh, more money to hire some uh, some persons or raise their salary so they can have uh, better uh, better uh, like uh, better car and uh, better uh, house and they can uh, uh, they can spend more money on their children or their family uh, so you help people more than you help company that will get uh, billions of dollars and uh, some man who didn't uh, uh, spend any single piece of time uh, not like the free software they spend large chunk of time and hard work to make this software works the, the way uh, we see uh, so uh, you you encourage them if you buy or you make donation or you uh, get support contract with them uh, so you like uh, you know who is the man who spent uh, this hard time or hard work and you give him the money uh, directly rather than go to one of the centers of equa company uh, you can everybody can uh, help you uh, and uh, uh, like this uh, so we change the philosophy and we change the way uh, rather uh, um, rather than uh, 
give the money to one uh, side of the equation you can separate this money for people for the humans who uh, make these uh, software thank you for listening have a nice time